she could. And not Lady Whistledown, but someone more like Colin. My brother? No, not Colin. Colin! My brother. My brother? Colin! You set aside the Lady's family squabble and embrace me. <laughs> We did not get a chance to speak this morning. We did. I said, Colin, but then again, there was nothing of note. Uh, I had wanted to hear more about your travels. I thought you would have been bored of my travels by now. So much interest shown in a young lady whom none of us really know. Hmm. Not a devotee of mystery, Pen? Me? No. I'm always turning to the final chapter first. <laughs> also, lonely, perhaps. Oh. Well, I was never on my own, of course. I see. Pen, you met someone. Pen, I finally found you. You always do. You've been back a matter of hours, yet you're already on my way. Speaking of mysteries, you must tell me the name of the young lady who you seem to have met while out of the country. Oh, what can you mean? You mentioned at the races you were never lonely. I only assumed... Never mind. <clears throat> Our relationship has taken shape so naturally over the years. One could take it for granted. You have always been so constant and loyal, Pen. I do not believe I deserve such praise for my loyalty. Brother! Brother! I was not exactly lonely on my travels. I did begin a real conversation with someone, someone I had known for a very long time, and yet, after everything that happened with Miss Thompson, I realized I never truly knew this person at all. Myself. Yourself. I thought, if Penelope can see me this way, then surely I can too. I was just so distracted by Miss Thompson. Are you joining the men on the hunt? I'm not. I have decided to pay your cousin a visit, in fact. Miss Thompson? Colin! We, uh, missed you at the ball last night. Yes, I fear I was not feeling up to it. After seeing Marina. She is content. Good. I'm glad. You've sworn off women, then? Not for the time being. I am a woman. You are pen. You do not count. Perhaps seeing her was what you needed. To leave the past behind. To no longer feel the need to forswear women. Lady Crane said she was content. But I cannot help but feel like, well, we were all so hard on her. You're my friend. Your friend. How good to hear that. Come with me. We thought quite scandalous for the two of us. There are no gemstone mines in Georgia. Perhaps I might rely on your loyalty one last time. Until this agreement with your cousin is confirmed, I do not wish for words to get back to Anthony. Could you avoid telling anyone, especially Eloise? I know there are no secrets between you two, but... Mr. Bridgerton! Colin. Are you all right? I believe so. Good. Because we... Are dancing. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for looking after us. I will always look after you, Penelope. You are special to me. As are you. To me.